Hey everyone, this week we have a couple of performance-based SUVs. First up is the Lamborghini Urus. This is an auto art composite. So the Urus, honestly, not my, not my favorite looking vehicle. It's kind of homely. I guess you could say it's purposeful. It's on the same platform as quite a few other performance German SUVs. Uh, it shares the platform with the Porsche Cayenne, the Audi Q7, Q8. Um, it's even on the Bentley Bentayga platform. So a lot of a lot of interesting vehicles on here, and I think this is the least attractive one. So auto art composite, we have you know the composite body shell, um, typical good auto art wheels and tires. I wish they could black wash those uh, the holes drilled rotor holes kind of an interesting metallic white it's not necessarily going to pick up in camera but you can see the, little, the sparkle you have I guess you'd say you know open grills let's see if I can get the interior open I do like the red and black two-tone that's pretty, came out pretty good. Retail on this is about $200. Um, I paid $125 for it because a mirror had fallen clean off, but literally takes two seconds to fix. So at $125, I'm not mad at it. You've got the fabric seat belts, which I always appreciate. Let's open the hatch. You've got scale hood struts. You have flocking and carpeting. Under the hood, these all, all of these wind up having four liter twin turbo V8 hot Vs. Like I said, where the turbos sit in the valley of the engine. This, I think, 641 horsepower twin turbo V8, four liter. Again, you've got hood struts. You've got some under hood painted dealings, detailing, so that's kind of nice. Again, nothing really to complain about here. I don't think it's worth the $200 retail. But that's true of most auto art composites at this point. Packaging has become this boring, windowless, blue and black box. Nothing special there. So next up we have a Norev fully opening die cast. This is a BMW X6M. This is the second generation. If I have my platform codes correct, it's F16. F15 is the X5, which this is based on. This is another fad I'm not a fan of, where you take something like the X5, which has some practicality in your SUV, and then slant the back to make it a coupe. So you have a coupe SUV. So mechanically identical, but just take away some practicality and make it look swoopy, but it's an SUV. I, I, I don't know, but people buy them. So this is Norev, again, fully opening. The little parcel tray pops up, which is nice. You do have carpeting in the trunk and the hatch. You have dog legs because this is more of a value-priced proposition. Again, another V8, a hot V. Again, 4.4 liter V8 this time. 567 or so horsepower. Again, I wish we could do a black wash on the drilled rotors. Not much to see in the interior, just good old fashioned black leather. There is carpeting. This retails, I think, more like 89 ish. About that. I probably paid 50 bucks or so, maybe less. That price, not too mad at it. Like I said, not a good looking car. Box is an actual nice kind of old-fashioned window box, which Norev has been doing the past few years. So you can actually see what you're getting, and displays nicely even when you're leaving the car in the box. So, that's it for this week. Two opening cars. I do have a lot more resin to get through, so maybe I'll mix and match for next week. Everyone have a good one. Please like and subscribe.